Today we're going to get some target practice with some pressure powered rockets. Let's get started. Hey gang, welcome to STEM at Home. My name is Matt and I'm in service offering development at Lenovo. Today we're going to get some target practice with some pressure powered rockets. Hey kids, science is a lot of fun, but it can also be a little bit dangerous. So please, make sure you have an adult present when you're building your bottle rocket. Rockets are propelled by a reaction force that pushes out the back of the rocket. We'll be using water and air pressure to propel our rocket. When the force of the air pressure inside the bottle becomes greater than the force holding the cork in place, the water pushes out the bottle and propels the rocket up in the air. It's really amazing what water can do. We're even using warm water to cool our servers here at Lenovo. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create fins for stability. So we're gonna end up out of cardboard cutting one, two, three fins, and then attaching them. Let's go ahead, take our cardboard, and create the template for me to be able to cut these out. I'm using scissors, but you could also use a utility knife, whatever works for you. And certainly, again, safety first. And so after you are finished, you will have one, two, three fins ready to attach to your rocket. And I'm simply gonna put a piece of duct tape on each side of each fin, and then use that tape to hold it in place. All right, now it's time to make the nose cone. I found something that's a circle. Let's quickly trace around it. I'm gonna end up cutting it into a circle here. Then, because you're gonna to wanna to cut up about halfway or just a little bit more. So that's going to allow me to be able to fold this into a cone shape. So now it's time to take a standard inflating needle and a piece of cork. And I'm gonna push the needle straight through the cork to the other side. And so when it comes time to launch, the cork with the needle will fit into the bottle like this after we add water and after we add air. All right, I'm gonna fill this up about a third of the way. Gonna put the cork in, gonna push it down. Thanks again for joining us on another edition of STEM at Home. I hope you enjoyed building your water-powered rocket. Guys, that's not how it works! <laughs>